guys. How y'all doing? How y'all toes going and your nose and your boogers? How y'all doing, sugar plum? Clarity and Truth for Cancer Leo Cubs. Y'all know what we do around here. We want the clarity and we want truth. We need understanding and I need proof. Okay? <laughs> hey, no, I don't need no proof. Shit. Damn Boy, you scared the hell out of me to read this proof. We trusting our intuition around here, though. Stink. Stink. We trust the intuitions around here. Look, I got. Man, my sister gave me this. She keeps saying this mask, so I said, fuck it. It's a jade stone. And then you keep this in the freezer and you get a migraine and roll this in the back of your neck, the top of your phone here, baby. The double is a lie. Where you come from? Oh, damn, that's that. That's that flower. The flower life. I was looking for this flower. Inspiration, awe, and dreams. Oh my God. Uh, somebody got this tattooed on their hand, and young Pharaoh had it on him. You know when he ripped Tasha uh, K to shreds, she wasn't fit to interview him. I'm sorry, she just wasn't. She was focused on. She was too worldly for him. Anyway, clarity and truth, spirit and ancestors. Clarity and truth, spirit and ancestors. Clarity and truth. I want this tattoo. I want it. Don't judge me. Like, I want it to kind of be like around my nipple. <laughs> okay, clarity and truth, spirit and ancestors. Give me some energy for my Cancer Leo Cups. Give me some energy, some messages for Cancer Leo Cups. What's going on with my Cancer Leo Cups, spirit and ancestors? <sighs> energy for cancer leo because this is my mystic martian deck y'all we got an air element out here came out philosophy discrimination i'm sorry and empathy oh wow basically you ain't going for no shit you 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 clear you clear you standing on you, and you know what? I pulled out this intuition. This can have a lot to do with your intuition also. But you standing on your truth and your beliefs. Hey, Google. Volume down. Hold on. We can read it at the end. We can get into it at the end. I want to see the messages they about to give us. The messages they about to... Here I go. I was having a vision of this deck again, the water crystal deck. Oh, y'all can check out all of my shorts. I put up a lot of my crystal necklaces, not all of them. A lot of the crystal necklaces. I did videos with them. Check those out. I put up a lot of products. My products, actually. So, and um, you can check in my description box, of course, for the link to my jewelry line. Or you can just Google Infinity Empress Collection. It'll come right up. And shop your little heart at, baby. Just shop your little old heart out, okay? Next month is going to be 31% off of my, one of my favorite times of the year. Clarity and truth, good in there. Can you give me some messages for my Cancer Leo Cups? I honestly didn't want to pull this out, the tarot, all this shit. Let's pull out this love energy for some reason. <sighs> give me the love messages for Cancer Leo Cups. Calm down. Hey, Google, volume up. I don't know why the hell Seven just decided. He, it's like he said, he's sick of this shit. And he just got in my bed and lay down and started taking a bath. Yeah, that's what had happened. Taking a bath in my bed. Ooh, child. Clarity and truth, spirit and ancestors. Give me some love messages for Cancer Leo Cups. Come on, Aries. Just lay down. Yo, fluffy ass here be throwing me off. Give me some love messages for Cancer Leo Cuts. Oh, I got to tell y'all this. Now, look, this this, this could probably have a lot to do with this also. So, look, I kept thinking about Mrs. Eris Goes to Paris, Mrs. Eris Goes to Paris, right? And that was a new one about to come out. But I remember when my mama showed us this movie when we were a child. So, something finally made me sit my ass down today. Like, literally, I haven't did shit nothing i cooked i cooked the big old breakfast that's it now i'm trying to figure out what's gonna be for dinner because baby i'm still full but uh i'm watching mrs eris goes to paris and um i so i said i'm about to go watch mrs eris and ain't nothing stopping me i watch it and i look at this woman and she 
she seen something she wanted, right? It was just her and like her best friend. They was like each other's best friends taking care of each other. She seen something she wanted and then she just stopped. She cut off all of her her extracurriculum activity and stacked her chips to get 500 pounds, 450 pounds to buy that dress. Now, mind you, this is 20 years ago. So that $450 was a lot of money for a damn dress, okay? She cut out her game night. She cut out catching the bus. Now, baby, you got me fucked up. I already ain't got a car. Now you trying to tell me I can't get on the bus? Psh. Then she cut out um, her little cigarettes that she smoked every Friday night after work. You know, she cut a lot of stuff out. And then she won the polls. The polls, I guess, was like their lottery back then. And it was Tony. It was Tony. Or no, uh, her sweet, the sweepstakes. This is over in London. She won the sweepstakes, but it was 500 shit. It was 25 shillings. Whatever the fuck that shit is called. So she and she had all these little bitty blessings along her way of stacking this money. Now, mind you, this woman did this for three years, okay? So then at the end, or not at the end, but then she turns around. And on her way to work, on that walk, she sees some... The, the, the garbage man left out some paper so she picked it up and she felt something in there and it was a diamond brooch so I know deep down that woman could have turned that brooch in and got all the money she needed to go get that dress and probably many more if she had a sold it but she didn't she turned the dress in so a award was claimed for the dress right they came in and gave her the reward money that was all the money she needed to get to Paris and get this dress made okay that was all the money Mrs. Ayers needed to get that dress made. So, I'm going to leave that right there for right now. But just time, dedication, and and just letting go of the toxicity in your doggone life. I mean, even if it's letting go of a drink every Friday night to stack that money and put it in the kitty to go buy you a house or buy you a new car or redecorate your home. Because... I want to hire this decorator, okay? When I move, I'm hiring her. And I don't give a damn with nobody's... Honestly, I really don't care how much she charged me because that's just how good she is. The only thing is, I have to pretty much find my pieces. If she know better unique pieces, go for it. But I got to have her. Like, she belongs to me. Because she's a badass decorator. And I like... I love her. <laughs> I stalk her page, watch everything she posts. And then when she had the people come in and they'd be like, um, it's like people just be so shocked that she did, took their house and turned it into what she turned it into. I learned so much about decorating through this dog on woman. I can't do nothing but hire her at this point to do the most important part or one of the most important parts of my house. And that's when everybody's going to walk in and see my living room. Now, right now, I'm only focused on my living room and my bedroom. The kids got to figure it out. Anyway, give me some messages. Oh, okay, this came right out. It had something to say. It said, kisses. Unconditionally loving. Giving and receiving affection. Falling in love. This was in reverse. You can take it however it comes out in your life. But, this is going to go back to, uh, I say... What happened to Mrs. Ayers goes to Paris. Because she went all the way to Paris. She went. She thought she was going to walk in the store. It was going to be on the rack. And she was going to grab it and get the dress and take her ass home by the end of the day. And she found out that this is made to order. Like, we don't just sit up here and just have stacks of dresses. No, we got to fit you. We got to. Them people said three weeks. She almost passed out. Nevertheless. Everybody loved this woman's energy, and this woman just had unconditional love. No, no matter what the odds was against her, she stood that ten toes down, and everybody came together to help her get this dress. But then, but then, but then, it was that wicked one, okay? And I'm calling him the wicked one, who hated her for no logical reason. Who didn't want her to have a dress. A Dior dress, mind you. Who didn't want her to be great. Who didn't think she was worthy or qualified or had enough money. Or her race or her culture was good enough. Okay? So everybody came together to make sure she got that dress. And in the meanwhile, they have lost something. And she had made just contact with people. 
unconsciously making contact with people to help they lost not feel so sad or she was bringing couples together that wasn't even a relationship so who had attraction for each other i cannot believe this boy in my bed sleep like he owned this bitch like his head rolling back bro he is through he is living his best life in his bed he um she had the grand marquis whoever he was talk to his daughter and his granddaughter again he helped the military man talk to a beautiful model he helped the she helped the woman in there who never got acknowledged for her husband's betrayal in a war get a medal a medal of honor and a promotion you know what i'm saying so she really was walking around dropping off little bitty kisses to everybody little blessings to everybody because she still held on to unconditional love it was really a beautiful story so at the end when they found out that they were still making this dress for this woman. They banned her. They took the dress. Every dog on thing. They said she couldn't have it. Blah, 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 blah. And then Mr. Grand Marquis, who was Dior's personal friend, found out that they had the nerve to take her dress from her. Bitch! And he personally, personally, when it talked to Mr. Dior himself and got her her dress and the woman who got fired for helping her get the dress she got pointed as the director of the house of Dior and that little evil wicked man he was pushed straight to administration <laughs> but I'm going to tell you this is the part that took the most out of me because at the end when it was like all her back was up against her wall she went out to a um a park and she sat down on the bench and she bawled. She did. She bawled her ass off. She bawled and bawled and bawled never to know when she returned back to the house that she was staying at with a friend that all her friends had came together and everything was working behind the scenes and she didn't know it. All she knew is all the tears that she cried was about to be her last concerning that dress because she had her dress and her she wasn't mad at her friend lost her job no more she was happy that the two couple the two young people had got together like all of this stuff that she had did that she didn't even know was working for her had worked for her and everybody came and showed out for her just when she thought it was over so I'm just here to tell you now, right when you think the door is closed and you keep getting a no and your back is turned and you all is lost, me as a convicted felon, baby, don't you ever play yourself and think all is lost. Because this is not these people's world. They don't own shit. They, they don't own shit and they don't run shit. Oh, come down. Hey, Google. Play. Google. I guess Google had to hear what I had to say too, huh? I know I've seen some cards. So these kisses was in reverse, you guys. Let me see if everything. I'm turning this around. Uh, this could have been the past energy. Whoever want to blow you a kiss now nah, didn't do it in in the past, or you wasn't very unconditionally loving, or none of that, or you, People haven't been showing you unconditional love. You haven't had the chance to really fall in love. Now's your time. Give me more energy for my Cancer Leo cuts. What else is going on here? It's a boat in reverse. Okay. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. Then we have the Grand Reaper. Ooh, shit. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transfer your life. Okay? And a coffee cup is here. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. Feel it uplifted. Friendship. So, so some of y'all were sitting up there waiting and hoping that something's going to come to fruition. Somebody's about to come back or looking behind you or over your doggone shoulders. Baby, stop. Okay? With this low energy. You're not receiving what you need from this person, or someone's not receiving what the hell they're ne they need. And, and stop entertaining certain energies at this point because it's a hindrance here. 
something is hindering you. It's trying to grow from a situation and move on and stop having a poker face when you're really sad. You're not allowing yourself to cry. If anybody is still lingering in your energy, I'm not here to tell you to still wait. Don't ever wait on people. This whole, excuse me, waiting thing that's, that's happening, like, it's... It, it, People keep wondering why they turning around killing each other and stuff like that or killing a woman or killing a man because you waited on a hope and a dream and you should never wait. A divine being don't wait on shit because a divine, you got to catch up. By the time uh, somebody realized that you was the choice, they got to catch up with you. That's why the runner becomes the chaser. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody running from you, let them run, sis. Let her run, bro. Let her go run back to her baby daddy, okay? Let him run back to his baby mama, okay? Because that ain't, I mean, what the fuck is you really getting out of somebody constantly running? Now, for me, I understand it's a chase with a woman at all times, but what kind of chase? You know what I'm saying? Is you chasing her because she's working? Is you chasing her because... You know, you know, she got some little insecurities in there. So you doing the extra just to let her know it's solid over here. Or is you chasing because she can't uh, kick her baby daddy out? Is you chasing because she can't, um, she can't, um, tell her mama to stop stealing from her? I don't fucking know. Give me some, uh, give me a message around this kiss energy in reverse. Tell me about this kiss energy spirit and ancestors. I'm going to get that whatever fell out, y'all. Soon as I find it, soon as I find it, soon as I find it. This mother fell out of here. That motherfucker like not today. Hey Google, play music. He was dealing with a fox. That you see, you see how the sneaky bitch didn't even want to be seen. That's why I said I'm going to get it. And I'm about to get it expeditiously. Hold on. I think uh, Spirit wants this message out because he's not letting Google talk. This person with this kiss energy that portrayed, this person betrayed like they had unconditional love for you. This motherfucker ain't had love for nobody. They ain't even had love for their mama, okay? Giving and receiving this, that's not what this was, okay? They wasn't giving you the same affection that you were giving them. And they damn sure weren't falling in love with your ass because they was a fox. They had their own premeditated agenda. They had something else going on in their doggone life. And, and if this is the person you holding on and think it could possibly go somewhere, baby, sister, honey, bro, I'm I'm here to tell you, let it the fuck go, okay? Wish them well and move on. Because at this point, this reverse, all of this reverse um, fortune and stuff that's going on with you is just that you're holding on to a possibility you're holding on to a thought that maybe just maybe this person is gonna come bring you the offer that you were looking for and then even if they do it's not gonna be an a, a offer that you even need it's gonna be something you're not even interested in anymore give me some messages on this boat energy tell us about this boat in reverse spirit and ancestors for cancel leo cups tell me about this boat Listen here, girl. I don't know where the hell this reading even going. Look at this. An ace of doggone clubs, meaning a ring. And then you got the loyal one here, a dog. The dog is the loyal one. This 25, I mean, this ring is commitment. The boat and re receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure, and issues. You not moving on from this situation because you still think it's some type of loyalty here with this person. You're you were the loyal one. That's what here. You were the committed one. You were committed by your goddamn self on some real ass shit. You were. You were in this by yourself. This person was for the streets. And it's hard to admit to yourself that somebody you thought really and truly was in love with you was for the streets. But I'm I I you they're for the streets, okay? That's why air energy is here. For straight up clarity to let you know they were for the streets, okay? You have to listen to 
the, 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 the knowledge of the Most High. You have to understand that you are an empath. And your empath is this person preyed on that part about you. They knew how to... Um, what's that word? Trick the energy because they knew that you wasn't in full control of your emotions but now you are you have arisen you have graduated you can stand your ground to this person this is like i will always love you but you cannot have this person in your life why is this grand reaper here for my cancer leo cup tell us about this grand river grand reaper spirit and ancestors tell us about the grand reaper what we need to know about this grand reaper the cancer leo cup I guess nothing. I guess it's just there you go. Yes, what it is. It's a book. Knowledge. It says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. That's get, collect knowledge. Accept knowledge. Accept the wisdom. It's time to level up. It's time to levitate and it's time to level the fuck up. This this shit is over. This shit is done. This is past tense. Now they're just somebody that you used to know, okay? It's time to step in the den of the gods, okay? It's time to step in the house of other kings and queens like you with more elite minds and grow your mind, okay? It's stop, stop with this person. This person is nobody. You you feel like this person is more than what they are because you, you, you're alone. You hurt. You sad. And trust me, we get it. Everybody get it. But this ain't it, sis. This ain't it, bro. The good dick or the quality time, it's not worth your self-respect. Tell me about this coffee energy for my Cancer Leo Cups. Meetings, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted. That's what you need to be in friendships this year. Number 44, being watched, basically a telescope. Because at the end of the day, this person's going to come back around. They're going to come back around when they shit starts stinking. When shit starts going wrong with them. Come back around and baby, baby, please your ass back into this, this toxic cycle with them again. The fact that you thought this person was committal to you or some type of great person in your life that you needed just goes to show how vulnerable you was to this person you were vulnerable in your life and they took advantage of it they probably did but at some point you have to face the reality that you allow somebody to take advantage of you once you woke up and realized they wasn't shit it's what you did to your damn self because a lot of times we expect someone to get karma back for what we did to ourselves no once you woke the fuck up and realized that motherfucker wasn't shit and you still entertain this 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 sicko with that whole y'all know that old bullshit how we manipulate ourselves i didn't did it before to manipulate oh he gonna get better oh he needs me oh she gonna be all right she's needed a couple of dollars no bitch oh the baby daddy gotta stay there for the night to watch the kid in the morning did the baby daddy need to come in the morning then or he had to spend the night at his baby mama house so he could take the kids to work in the morning school in the morning whatever the fuck she wanted to go out so she had to stay there with the baby the bitch look he fucking that bitch, okay? They going out as a family. I'm looking for... I'm looking for something. <laughs> I guess it ain't down here. <sighs> Shit, why is it so sad all of a sudden? Behind that... But that's what this is. It's, it, and, and you wonder why shit is going wrong in your life. It's because you're not accepting the fact that you thought if you kept on being Miss Goof Goof Nice Ass, that everything was justified. Everything ain't justified for foolish ass ta tactics, antics. You got foolish ass antics, you're going to get a foolish ass result. And you want to blind yourself with believing that I did this for because I loved him or I did it because he needed it. I didn't know you did some stupid shit to stay stupid, to stay codependent, to stay bound to somebody, okay? Just because you didn't want to face your fears of being alone and not having somebody. Or you did it just to have a woman or just to have a man or just to 
I don't know, whatever delusional fantasy people be having in their doggone head. So we need to stop this kind of behavior, stop this blame behavior, because when it comes to these moon cycles and it's just this energy, you think they give a fuck about you being in dumbass emotions? And I'm just being real with y'all because it's a lot of this going on, a lot of blaming why you ain't shit or why you chose to deal with an ain't shit ass person, okay? A lot of people is doing a lot of blaming. And it's time to just really, really wake up. It's time to face the music. Give me some energy around this reading, Spirit and Ancestors. What's going on around this reading? Taurus any energy. Anybody dealing with a Taurus here? The bullheaded bastard. I just did that reading. No, y'all know what that Taurus reading was. That. And then Taurus had the nerve to almost go as long as our readings. Girl, I was like, oh, Taurus got the audacity to get involved in our readings. You know what I'm saying? I think that mother was almost 40 minutes. I almost cost him, smack myself and call myself Billy Jean, child. Anyway, come on. Give me some messages here, Spirit and Ancestors. Give me some messages about my Cancer Leo cup. What is going on with this reading? So, look, at the end, y'all know Miss Eris goes to Paris. She won. After that devil or that toxic person, that evil, wicked person actually thought that fox, actually thought they had played you, played her, I said played you, played you, it didn't go down like that. They didn't have a chance to actually, he didn't have a chance to win. Because no matter how long it might take, and sometimes it seems like someone's never going to get their karma. It just seems like they live a too good of a life after everything they fucking did to you. Sometimes you have to take your you out of there, okay? Take the you out of the situation and turn that bitch around. And that's why they karma ain't as bad as you thought it was. I just had to I just had to help a couple souls today. You know what I'm saying? I had to preach on this Sunday. Eight of cups, okay? Eight of cups. Somebody has left a situation. You have left a situation. Someone has moved the fuck on. And this is a sad ass move on. You had to somebody had to accept this situation. Somebody is resisting this person. Or you're in this this energy of having to resist this person when they come back to you and and you probably like me like me every time i see the bull it's nothing to say i cannot say nothing to him it's like a cold i done made up in my head i cannot speak to you you go against who i am today versus who i was in the past clarity and truth oh well come on now it, look. Big, big energy. See, the emperor, emperor is here with a tower in reverse. I don't know. This is the Aries energy out here standing strong. This emperor been coming out for a while, and y'all know we. But this tower in reverse, somebody is refusing to change. Somebody is refusing to let go. They're refusing to accept the situation as being defeated. They hate the fact that you're standing on it. Or either this is you playing mind games with your goddamn self, okay? This shit is over. It's done, okay? You are out here making decisions like on a gangster level. On a, I said gangster, bro. Not gangster. Yeah, you are making gangster decisions. You're making decisions and you're standing on it. You're making decisions to move forward, to be great, to be accomplished. You're sitting at the table of like minded people instead of people that are beneath you. Because you, when you sit at the table with people beneath you, it makes you feel superior, meaning you have ego issues. Okay, you sit at the table with people that can hold you can accountable. You're moving on up in your doggone life. Okay, if you can sit at the table with somebody that holds you just as accountable as you held that weak ass motherfucker that played you accountable. Then you are leveling up because now you can accept when you are wrong and now you can see from equal minded uh, peers what you need to work on. Until you get to that level, where, baby, where you going? Somebody is refusing to surrender in the face that is over. Somebody is refusing to see that a situation or a relationship is over. Somebody is refusing to accept that somebody has moved on someplace else and we about to figure out who the fuck it is. Tell me more about cancer. Okay, well then come on out. Knight of Cups is here in reverse. They're not coming to make no type of offer. But see, they, they're not moving on because they're jealous. They're wicked. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this is you.
this is you. Somebody has some real toxic, jealous ass envy energy, okay? So uh, it's a lust behind this too. And it's like someone who will soon betray you. It's some betrayal in this energy too. But I don't like when I can't find stuff, bro. When I, oh damn, it's all the way over here. Don't judge me, don't judge me. I'm sorry, don't judge me. Somebody, if this is you and it's not, it comes as energy. Somebody is seeing you out here looking sexy and beautiful and fine, but you're just, your soul dead, okay? And this could be a very, very immature individual, emotionally immature. That's why they're not able to deal with you. See, like I told you, if you're in this emperor energy, you have moved on in your life of crystal with that. Red Jasper, Jasper, excuse me. They're seeing you in a different light now. Look at this emperor. They're being seen, you're being seen in a different light. You're has you're in some type of strong, strong fire energy, and they never send you seen you stand ten toes down the way you are standing ten toes down. And that goes back to what I was saying. That goes back to the movie because when Mrs. Eris was walking away, she 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 she, she said fuck this shit. She turned around and she was the most thuggish, ruggish chick you ever seen throughout the whole doggone movie. She's like no, no, no. That bitch is like, girl, I've worked this slave three years to buy this motherfucking dress. You can't. Then she start arguing, not for the dress, but for her friend's job back. Girl, listen here, okay? Somebody is, in, is, is emotionally dis, disconnected and has a very manipulative energy. Now, we are, uh, 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 we dominate in our cancer energy, my cupsers do. It's on my cancer side, I say, because some of y'all dominate in your Leo energy, but you, you, you got a little bit of cancer in you too. But we dominate in our cancer energy, so we know how to manipulate our emotions. But if you using your emotions, you be drawn and taking back your emotions. Don't let nobody think you're being emotionally manipulative. You not because they're obsessing over what you used to give them. And now that you're not giving them that, you're not showing them that part of you, they want to sit up here and act like that you are you are the, the scum of all the world because you're moving on, okay? So don't let nobody trick you into thinking your emotions aren't valid because you are standing up for yourself. You're not allowing them to betray you anymore. I got to read the Martian, y'all. Shit. Number 25, 25. The earth energy. I mean, air energy. Air rules Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Archangel Raph rules the air element. Thought is an air dignity. Okay. Air is a masculine gang element. Ooh. Intelligence, communication, and thought. Ooh. The spring equinox. Okay, they said, isn't that what we are upon? Not the spring equinox, but... Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. This is mind, philosophy, discrimination, critical thinking, uh, logic, discrimination, okay, discernment, okay, because this is the thing, uh, communication, this is a lot of fucking communication, okay, imagination could be round and round, clouds, observation, okay, it's a lot of shit going on with air energy, but we all are aware that this is like the smartest of the smartest and the smartest, the intellectual of all of the astrologies, okay, I mean, all of the, yeah, all of the signs is air sign, because they, in their higher being, they are the most logical, they are the philosophers of thinking, they, th it's mind over matter with them, and that's the energy you could possibly be standing in now, like, I'm not thinking about laying down by myself crying no more i'm done with this shit okay you gonna have to respect me you know what i'm saying because the air energy is it, it commands respect you're going to fucking respect me they'll fight for it not saying that uh, a lot of air energies don't go wrong i'm not saying that but the ones that's in their higher domain mentally their higher mental celsius <laughs> they're not playing that shit Tell me more about my cancer, Leo, cuz. Tell me more about this read, Spirit Man says. Mm -hmm, child. Yes. Queen of Wands here. Four of Wands here. And a Nine of Cups. So 
know somebody ran off and got married or you're about to run off and got married or into some type of commitment or somebody's thinking about getting married or some some type of commitment some type of uh uh celebration you might be involved in or connected to uh if this queen of wands is you this queen of wands actually could be uh this aries energy too Cause you could be dominating seriously in your emperor energy you know how to be a lady and you know how to stand on your word too you know what i'm saying because <sighs> you're business minded at this time look at the the look at the crystal there for her you're a manifester too you're intuitive too your intellectual is strong okay at, at, what is this a garnet and an aquamarian So it, you could be being observed as somebody just happy, beautiful, fiery, passionate. This could be the energy you're in right now. Happy, beautiful, fiery, and passionate, and all eyes is on you. I was just singing that. I just put that on my TikTok and everything. It's, I think it's on my YouTube, too. All eyes on me when I'm walking. And that's what's going on right now. That's what's going on, and someone is watching that. This is where this jealousy is coming in. Or the Queen of Wands is the jealous one. If you're not this Queen of Wands, if there's another feminine energy attached to this reading, we'll find out. Then the Queen of Wands is this jealous energy. I want to get another deck right quick. Oh, here we go. I already had it already ready. Spirit already had us up and stuck. But some type of nine of cups, this is this nine of cups as energy. Somebody is really happy with their self in their life. They're abundant. They're growing. They're changing. You're comfortable. You're at ease. You're fine with being single because you're not willing to let anybody in just to interrupt what you got going on. You can stand on your own. You're fulfilled emotionally. Okay. You got blessings coming to you. You can feel it. You got inheritance. Your DNA is inherited with all types of riches of your ancestors. Okay. You show appreciation and gratitude. Attitude. People might call you bougie or you do too doggone much or you got too much. No. You trusting your ancestors. You trust the spirit. Yeah. Uh, people, God, whoever the fuck you fucking believe in, whatever you do, whatever, you chanting to to the masses. I don't know. You talking to the Pope for all I care. But at the end of the day, you glowing. You fine. You the shit. And you could be having you could be going through hell on earth and don't nobody know shit like me. Don't nobody know what the fuck I'm going through. People just assume because you show up that you just the, the dying daughter. They don't know what the hell somebody going through. They just don't. Clear these two spirit and ancestors. Clarify this goddamn emperor spirit. Who is this damn emperor? Tell us about this Empress when it, I said spin Three of Pentacles. So he's out of a commitment. Out of a commitment. Three of Pentacles is in reverse. Out of a commitment, lost the contract, or then got fired from their job. That's something that could have possibly happened with this, in, this Emperor. Or you all have end because this person can't keep it. Oh, well, then there you go. Sneaky ass motherfucking behavior thinking they wasn't going to get caught. Sneaky ass motherfucker thought they wasn't gonna get caught. Seven of Swords in reverse. The end of their doggone relationship, possibly with you. Most definitely could have happened with you. Trying to control you. This could be somebody who was trying to make it seem like that they just had it all together. That they was the shit. You know what I'm saying? But they was the hoe. I said what I said. Tell me about this tower energy spirit and ancestors. Wait, what did this emperor emperor want with my cancer? What does this emperor want with my Cancer Leo Cubs, Spirit and Ancestors? What does this emperor want with my Cancer Leo Cubs? Well, clearly he don't want shit to end. The Four of Cubs. Where's the book? Because this, this got vice versa deck. It seems like he's moping around about your ass. Yeah, regret, fatigue, opportunity on the horizon. This this person is in some type of regret energy. What the fuck 
me and regret now for it though. I don't get it. After a fox and being uncommitted, what the fuck is you in regret for? It, it look like they feel like they didn't miss the boat with you. Uh, you didn't give up on them. You didn't walk away. They didn't try everything they can try to hold on to you. It's, they was non-committal in the past. They was had you in third-party situation. They were sneaking. They was betrayal. They was deceitful. They was malicious, possibly. They probably did things to hurt you. And this could be somebody sitting around regretting what they did to you. Okay, they could realize, like, oh my God, this is happening to me because of I tried to play cancer or I tried to play my cups and she or he then said, fuck me and now I can't get back in. It's like the JC song. How did I, how was I to know that you was just playing sick of me? Tell me about this tower in reverse. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Cancer Leo Cups, Spirit and Ancestors. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, boo. A new beginning in love. They trying to stop this shit from falling, from changing, and from going bad because they want this new beginning with you. They want this second chance. They want you to see them for who they is. They want. They just want another chance, but they don't understand that you love yourself now. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Cancer Leo Cups? They do. That's why the ring is right here, too. And the fox is the damn emperor. You got the four swords in reverse and the six of pentacles, okay? Now they want... Look, this dirty-ass bastard. Now they want to ace the cuss with you because... And they're still not coming to give you what you want or what you need or what you deserve or what, what, what is right. This six of pentacles is in reverse. Or they could be going through something or they didn't realize they're not getting what they deserve with the six of pentacles in reverse. This person didn't give you what you deserve. This person wasn't worthy of your motherfucking ass. You were too loyal for this individual. This energy was not balanced at all. Okay? It was not balanced. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups for can in reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse for Cancer Leo Cups? Three of Swords. in reverse. So, you know what they're saying? They're out here saying you're bitter. You're mad uh, that they didn't want you and shit like that. You're jealous. This is what they was probably putting out there in the world. But at the same time, this is what you went through. This person took you through these emotional roller coasters by possibly putting you in competition. This sneaky ass behavior behind your back. You not knowing what this person was doing behind your back. This person was non-committal. This person was creeping back and forth to other people because they'd get bored with you. Or you wasn't trying to give them all of the toxic ass sex. I don't know where that's coming from. Somebody probably did want to suck a toe, stick a a toe in a booty and then eating you know motherfuckers nasty okay and then it's this night of cups you were the loyal one and this person tried to take that from you okay they tried to break you down to the point that you didn't have the ability to move on or to stand up for your doggone self but then a friend possibly came along a loved one stood next to you spirit came and bust you upside your head even if you just had that that pet that was always there whenever that person was around to let you know this nigga ain't it. You had some type of support from spirit to come in to show you this ain't it, okay? And you healed from this. They weren't expecting you to heal from this. Tell me more about this King of Cups in Reverse. This Knight of Cups in Reverse, Spirit and Ancestors. Tell me more. Look at this manipulative son of a bitch. The Knight of Swords is in Reverse. Manipulative and cunning ass son of a bitch. That's what they was doing. They was trying to manipulate your mind, body, soul, and spirit, child. They was trying to throw you in by the wayside. They didn't even want you to see who you really, really was. Somebody was manipulating your mind, or they felt that you were manipulative. They was telling everybody you was manipulative. You know what I'm saying? And this King of Swords ass energy. You were the cunning one. You was the manipulative one. Or this Three of Swords got their heart broke. I mean, this King of Swords in reverse heart is broke because of trying to be manipulative 
I can say this many ways. I'm feeling this many type of ways. They're looking at you in this King of Swords energy. With manipulative cunning. I keep burping. What the fuck? Somebody trying to fight? You can't silence me, bro. You just can't silence me. You stupid. Somebody also could be feeling like... I don't know. I, let me clarify this fool. Because I don't like him. Tell me about this King of Swords in reverse. Why is he in reverse, Spirit and Ancestors? Why is this King of Swords in reverse? Because he refused to let the tower fly. It's like, are you stupid or are you dumb? He refused to surrender. It's like, no matter what you're going through, no matter what he's going through, he refusing to change. He refusing to let this go. He refused to let this be. I don't know what you are to do in this situation because somebody like this, is, it's best to stay away from this person because they're trying to destroy you. They want to destroy your house, whatever you build, whatever you got going on. So if you let this person in, you risk the chance of losing everything because you're holding on to someone who frankly, my dear, don't give a damn about you, okay? And if they can't have their way with you or she can't have her way with you, she'll probably set your motherfucking ass up to get God. So once you open that door in, y'all see what came out back turned. He, he conjuring up something on your motherfucking ass behind your dog on back, little sick ass bitch. Look what the need to let go of useless mental superstructures maintain only out of fear of change. This could be you. At some point, you have to let go of what has been done to you. And look, y'all. Ah, shit, I don't even know what to say. Because this is real hard to do when you've been hurt. Oh, shoot me. This is hard to do when you've been hurt. You're you're in this level of controlling everything. You want to control everything. You only have the right to you. You don't have the right to what nobody else do. You don't. You only have you. So if someone is trying to control you, you have the right to defend and protect yourself. Yes, you do. But you do not have the right to control somebody else. You don't. You got to let this person go. Now, this is the Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, yeah. Manipulative. She the queen. Queen. Remember I keep talking about this Queen of Swords? I thought she was um, the king, but it was the queen. She, she looked like a nigga. You're very judgmental if you're in this energy. You're in a lot of judgmental energy because you haven't let go of the pain that has been caused because you're not healed yet, okay? You're still healing in this Three of Swords energy because you were loyal as fuck to somebody be to, who betrayed you. And you actually thought it was going to be a couple of forevers with this person. God, how did this turn to a love read? No, I don't want to do it. You really did. You thought you thought you had something going on, and it happens to the best of us, and male or female. You thought you had something going on, but you was fucking with a duck, all right? A, a duck ass motherfucker. This person gives you, or uh, this situation gave you anxiety, it sent you into a depression. It had you all types of fucked up. It did, but now you back, right? We back, we back, we back. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, spirit and ancestors. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. See, you back. Judgment is here. You back. You is back. You naked. You put it on the flow. I was hurt. I was betrayed. I was lied to. I love that nigga. You finally admitted it to your damn self. Because you wasn't running around sitting up there talking about, I, lie. I ain't give a fuck about that nigga. Fuck that motherfucking nigga. Nah, you admitting that shit. <laughs> Tell me about this judgment energy spirit and ancestors for this Queen of Wands. Somebody made a decision about this Queen of Wands too. Chariot in reverse. Tell me about this judgment decision. Why is the judgment here for the Queen of Wands? Oh, bitch, look, the Queen of Cups. 
bitch. Somebody could have made a decision to go marry this queen. But this is your cancer and your Leo energy. I'm sorry. This ain't got nothing to do with, to me, another woman. I'm not feeling that right now, y'all. I don't feel this other woman. And even though the queen of swords that came out, the queen of swords was the journey of what you went through with this, this emperor. How they hurt you, how they betrayed you, how they lied to you, okay? Okay, and now you love yourself. Now you're giving to these people what they gave you. Now it's time for you to reflect, and they're reflecting too. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, Spirit and Ancestors. Why is this Queen of Cups here? So now you're being stalked. So now let's pay attention here. It could be this Queen of Wands is uh, stalking this Queen of Cups, or this Queen of Cups is stalking this Queen of Wands. Now, I don't feel like it's another energy, but if it is another queen in this doggone arena, somebody got a problem with somebody, okay? Because the judgment is here. Wait, the judgment. Let me see the judgment in reverse. Awareness of being desired and love. Perfection of internal conflicts. Ooh rationality and intuition hold on desire to live in a new dimension hold on 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 spirit now you gotta no 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 it is another woman another energy oh man Say it ain't so, Celie. Say it ain't so. <sighs> oh. Oh, shit. I don't even know what to say, y'all. Because that just blew my fucking mind. It seems like it's this seems like a little okay now look somebody is playing with somebody man somebody is bitter hurt mad upset okay somebody it's a strong jealous energy here it looked like the queen of cups lacking clarity in some type of department she's not getting what the fuck is going on here or this Queen of Wands has some type of reckless behavior towards this Queen of Cups that sent that sent her off her her record, her marbles. But then again, this Queen of Swords, I mean this Knight of Swords energy could be just be reckless too. Let's find out. Spirit, why is this Knight of Swords here? It's an obsession somebody has here. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse for the Queen of Cups? Four of Wands and the Two of Swords in reverse. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Is you thinking that this person went off and got married to the Queen of Wands? Tell me why this Knight of Swords in reverse, Spirit and Ancestors. Knight of Swords in reverse for my king. Queen of Cups. The Ten of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. And clarity. You know what? It's a possibility that they did. It's a possibility somebody did connect to this doggone Queen of Cups. I mean, connect to this Queen of Wands energy. Well, we're going to double back to this. This is too much. Tell me about this Four of Wands, Spirit and Ancestors. Why is the Four of Wands here for my Cancer Leo? Because I didn't. Why did I got to have these on there? Read, bro. We got an X here with a fortune. And we got the Knight of Wands here. Let me see. Which way is it supposed to go? 
Which one is the right way? Oh my god. Calm down. Oh, calm down. Let me see what this fortune about. Oh no. This is what you're not understanding. This is what you lack clarity on. Uh, somebody ended the cycle with the Queen of Wands. That's what they did. And the judgment went in the favor of the Queen of Cups. But the Queen of Cups doesn't have the clarity she needs to understand that this is over. Like she doesn't trust. Because she's in Queen of Swords energy. She loves herself. Her emotions are together. But she do not trust somebody who didn't try to manipulate her mind no more okay spirit because of the betrayal okay okay spirit there you going that's where you going with this and now you have birth of a new awareness some type of celebration is going to bring in some type of birth of a new idea. Or you not even a new idea. You see yourself different now. You love yourself more than you ever loved yourself before. You know what I'm saying? I think you're and if this is for some reason I still I'm still going to stand on this, okay? I'm still standing that this is all your energy because the judgment is against your your ego, okay? You have the right to feel how the fuck you feel. You have the right to be out here looking beautiful and shining and stunting and whatever you out here doing and, and making this person drool. Okay, you have that right. Spirit in your favor. Okay, but the Queen of Cups, your emotional side is unclear. If someone is still entertaining somebody else, it's unclear of how to move emotionally. So that's why you might be coming off as cold with the Queen of Swords ass energy. You feel me? You feel me? Okay, but it's some type of good news coming in for you, pool. Okay, you you taking action? You're moving. You're doing the damn thing. You're not sitting up here laying down and letting nobody stand on your ass. You you're secure. You're stable with yourself right now. You're stable with your looks. Okay, you could be changing your look. You would look. You went from blonde hair to orange hair. I don't know what the fuck your ass up here doing. Blue hair. You got all type of shit going on with yourself right now. But you, 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 you're becoming successful. Okay, some type of celebration is coming in. You're gonna become successful. You're gonna become happier. You're gonna be celebrating. You could be celebrating something for your kids. What is this will of fortune energy, spirit and ancestors? This good news is is upon you. Um, down. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune energy for my Cancer Leo Cups. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? But it's for a wine sugar. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. You know what? That reading I did last night, didn't I just talk about how Taurus took all my damn energy and took all our time yesterday and then Taurus came out? Go look at that dog on reading because he had a sad chick, a wife, a mistress, and a girlfriend. That, that damn hoe was a hoeing. He was hoeing. It was hoeing. He or she was hoeing, okay? The eight of wands is in reverse and the five of wands in reverse. No more commitment. No more communication, no more fighting, no more nothing. You're done with this whole situation. You cut everything off. It's like what I said. You cut communication. You cut commun It's no way to get in touch with you. It's no way to activate your emotions no more. It's no way to activate your passion with this person anymore because you have ran your course with them. They have done too much, okay? They didn't put you in all types of competition and had you... Defen your defense was up, then judgment was called on all of that shit now, okay? Because you're not doing that anymore, as you should. You shouldn't be doing all of that, okay? You don't have the drive or the ambition to get involved in all of that type of stuff. You just walk away now. And now, all that has been sent back because karma, you got to pay karma. This person has to pay karma. Now, it's all been sent back to the person who's done it to you.
Charlotte is in here. Tell me about this Nine of Cups, Spirit and Ancestors. Why is this Nine of Cups here, Spirit and Ancestors? The Cancer Leo Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. These are pages. Oh my God. I'm sorry, y'all. This is a page. So it's it's not it's communication coming in. Cause he could the uh, Knight of Wands right here. So communication is coming in, and somebody pulling up. <laughs> Y'all know how I be with motherfuckers pulling up. And you know what? Somebody could be constantly calling you, trying to email you, trying to inbox you, DM you. I don't know what the fuck these people do now, because can't, can't nobody find me but y'all. Can't no nigga I ever fucked with find me but y'all. Ha! Ha ha ha! Unless somebody go dig up an old email or find me on Instagram through the grapevine. But other than that, bitch, you play. Why is this 90 wines coming in? This happiness, this fulfillment is coming in to you and it's coming in fast and you're probably already feeling it. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Why is that in reverse? Child, listen. Or you're finding out that someone has lost a big deal. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for my Cancer Leo Club Spirit and Ancestors? Why is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? The, th the Two of Cups is in reverse. So somebody, somebody, money got took, and he go nine of cups down here again. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the doggone two of cups in reverse. The two of cups is clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Now ain't that something, baby? Cause somebody ain't got caught. The way I'm looking at it. Somebody was codependent on somebody who put them out. I mean, damn, I keep laughing, y'all. This could be what this person has lost. Because, look, the, the will of fortune came for you, right? You out celebrating, you doing your thing, you talking, you chatting your ass off. Because this fell up under the coffee too now. So you you doing your motherfucking thing out here. You learning and growing and getting better out here in these damn streets. You paying attention to what you've done. You standing your ground. You not with the shit. This will of fortune is karmic justice being served. So this fortune has been reversed. This love has been reversed. So whoever they were sneaking off, this emperor energy was sneaking off, playing you with or against, if that, whoever this other energy come out, which I see she's pretty here. It's like somebody put these two queens into competition, maybe even three queens. They put them in some type of competition, and maybe it was this Taurus, because I'm telling you, this is like another part of this Taurus reading. Like, I, I promise you. They put them in some type of competition, and, and there you go. The conflict that they put somebody in. That's what kind of, And then their karma for that has been sent back to them. Look at this. All that they sent towards you has been sent back to them. And you see the electricity going through that? Ten times worse. And now they ran off to go find emotional fulfillment with somebody the fuck else. Now they're running back to you because it wasn't all that it cracked up to be, okay? They lost their money behind this situation and they lost this connection behind this situation, okay? It was a codependency relationship. And then somebody turns around and rejected them probably when they got somebody else, okay? But now they're in separation. It's an imbalance in this situation because it wasn't genuine. Somebody was a horny bitch and somebody was in love. Or you were dealing with a horny bitch while you were in love, okay? That's what happened here. Somebody went off uh, talking to somebody else. You were attracted to this person by yourself. They probably was attracted to you sexually or financially, but they didn't have a genuine heart here. There was no genuine heart here. Somebody was with somebody for, for one thing only, really. They really was just there for what they can get. Some real distant, genuine energy. What's the conclusion to this reading for my Cancer Leo Plus Spirit and Ancestors? The nine of swords in reverse. Tell me more. What's the conclusion to this reading, Spirit and Ancestors? The 
three of wands. Moving forward. Tell me more about this conclusion to this reading. Six of cups. Six of swords. I'm sorry. Five of pentacles. The eight of cups is here. Somebody's about to confess. First they was lying, but now they want to confess. Five of Pentacles, they got to come out of the motherfucking cold, the hermit. This is an earth energy, possibly. They, 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 they seem like they still not seeing themselves for who they is. Why is this hermit in reverse, spirit and ancestors? Or this is just you isolating yourself. The Four of Pentacles is in reverse. This a greedy ass bitch, y'all. This this motherfucker is out for money. Only this. I mean, I don't even know how many times I got to tell this story. How many times I gotta tell y'all this story? That, well, it's it's a retrograde because these are the people that could be coming back. Virgo, it's everybody. It's all I care. Taurus here. Let's see what this tour is reading about though. Cause this bitch had me fucked up in that reading. I was like, bitch. I was in that reading like, bitch. Y'all go over there and check out my Empress Washington um, page. I have all signs over there. It says the stable energy of earth combines with the fixed determined quality and advised practical planning. And that's what's happening here. If the, this is somebody, this emperor, he's coming at, he don't give a fuck what you're talking about, okay? In his head, he can have all these women, this emperor. He's not coming, he's sneaking back and forth between these people. You're going to have to leave him because he's not leaving you. Gather the facts, understand the data, figure out the next best step. The key phase, phrase I have means that the motivation is centered on resources and to best deploy them. In this situation, ask what do I have and how I can best invest it. Make a plan and commit yourself to seeing it through. Now listen, I'm going to tell you something. If you're trying to figure out if this person, if this is for the people that want to get back with the scum, if you're trying to figure out if this person is still attached to something, if anything in your body making you feel like this person is still attached, they are. They are. Or you need to change your way of thinking. If somebody puts you in the energy to make you feel like you're less than, you're in competition, or you have to go on overload and thinking about them, it's time for you to stand down, sis. This person ain't for you. This situation ain't for you. This is a bullheaded ass motherfucking energy. And that's just it. They standing on what they said they gonna do and what they want. And that's just either you gonna take it or you gonna leave it. I'm about to just, I gotta read this number 26. I never had that one before. Wait, wait, Number 26, my lady, it's called the book. The book of knowledge, the book of secrets. What I house is educational and private. I may be your project or your research and sometimes your studies and journeys. Watch out for the cards around me because with the sun, you will see right through me. I am hidden. I am unknown, but occasionally knowledge I might learn. So we stuck in between two things, okay? It said pay attention to the cards surrounding us because we got a fox here, okay? And then this is a secret card. It's like a diary or something like that. So the cards around it is this Queen of Wands with this Queen of Cups and it's a uh, Queen of Swords energy. So you got to really pay attention. If the secret could be someone is still dealing with somebody else. That's what they're trying to say. The relationship is over, sis. It's time to move on. Stop doubling back on the memories of this relationship, this situation shit. And if this person comes back around, stand in your self-worth, your self-value on this nigga. Because that's what he needs. If he don't, if these bitches ain't going to teach him, you can teach him. You can show him what value is, okay? And that's probably what you did. That's probably why you back knocking at your damn door, okay? Because somebody robbed that bitch. You know what? I'm ready to know, too. My nosy ass. I want to know who robbed him. The magnifying glass. I am the card that suggests to you to take a closer look or two. If you did not get clarity from an earlier view, I can provide more focus in a perspective that is new. Period. It says if this card appears with the letter, the book, 
or ring it may mean you have to examine a document contract information or commitment more carefully okay the clouds car nearby reinforces the idea that things are still murky and listen here and then it's got the magnifying glass up here some more about the magnifying glass this car might also suggest a financial audit or legal investigation in the realm of emotional issues the magnifying glass suggests it's a Preoccupation. Okay. You may be focusing on. Where the hell you come from? Um, something. On something too much. Your excessive thinking might be what's observing your clarity. Ooh. That could be clouding your clarity. You obsessively thinking on something. Now, listen to here. You see right here with this financial audit? That's a financial audit right there. A reverse fortune finances you didn't get something you weren't successful in completing because you weren't supposed to get it and then the two of cups came out to clarify it it was an audit on this relationship possibly because this relationship wasn't authentic and you wonder why it has in you wonder why it hurts you wonder why you're going through what you're going through because you weren't seeing it for what it was you keep thinking you every time this person go away and come back they're going to bring some type of abundance into your life and all they do is bring mayhem and destruction so at some point spirit had to reverse your fortune because if anyone let this clown back in you could be wondering why shit is fucked up in your life spirit also could be letting you know you're not getting the financial uh abundance or they're not getting it because they blocked the person who they was really supposed to do work with in this world But it say with the book, it said, as in the, it said, wait a minute. The book opens to the right of the card, which indicates in reading the direction of the learning, literally, what is being opened by the learning. So the right of the card and what is being opened. It's this magnifying glass, possibly a secret. Right, okay. As an example, the dog was the right of the book. It would be learning something about a close friend. The next card to the right may indicate what was going to be learned, such as the ring or the stork. It may be a surprise to them to say congratulations on your engagement or wow, a baby, before they have told you. And I down here... It's the Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands. So it just might be a surprise on the damn engagement, okay, with a ring. It's all to the left. So the left is possibly past energy. I don't know. It all varies. But at the end of the day, protect yourself. Well, I'm about to find out one thing. Tell us more about this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit and Ancestors. Why was this fortune reversed? like temperance was in reverse because someone's not healed you're not healed enough to accept the fortune let me make sure this is temperance i'll come back and do a healing reading for y'all just in case for the ones that's not healed okay xip yeah yeah Healing of the ego's womb. Ooh. The secret of harmony. The natural movement of opposites that are transformed into each other. An endless flow. Ooh, spirit. You is messy, child. What does it my uh, Cancer Leo Cups need to do to receive the Ace of Pentacles? The five of cups in reverse. Look, everything is surrounding some type of healing. And the healing comes from this grief that was inflicted due to that betrayal. Somebody is still holding on to a lot of pain, okay? You need to heal. You need to heal. Don't rush yourself going outside either. It's not meant for you to rush yourself outside. You're in balance right now. Or this person possibly needs to heal. Someone really needs to heal some childhood trauma at that childhood pain. And uh, whatever this, this hurt that was inflicted with this person, let it go. Tell 
tell me more. What do my cat cells? What else do they need? To, that you need to heal. You need to accept the love and the guidance, the spirit. Okay. You need to uh, activate your psyche. Look at the constellation. The Cancer constellation is right up here. You need to activate your psyche better. What is this? This is a friend. Profound and hypersensitive intuition. The inspirations of the ego in direct contact with profound profanity with no intercessions dang opening up completely to the revelations of the soul shut the fuck up god damn who wrote that i felt that Ooh, i'm about to jump out this chair this is spirit calling on you to activate your soul to activate the intuition that he or she have gave you whoever you believe activate your divine self okay You know what I say? It's time to go to the water. It's time to purify yourself. I say. 